Hi. Um, my name's Emmy. I'm one of the people inside of this body. So, hello. Welcome to today. Today sucks. We're a little bit brain fogged and a lot bit fatigued and a lot bit fucked up by the day. So we had a social security hearing today about our disability and I, there aren't even enough, there aren't the right kinds of words to describe how terrible, awful it was. Just the kind of thing that strips you of all your feelings of who you are and makes you feel like um, there's not really a point to going forward with shit. So, um, this isn't going to be a, I think some people wanted to do a more thorough discussion or a conversation with um, with um, our partner outside of the body partner but um, I wanted to capture some of how we feel today because it seemed needed um, but what happened is we went to our hearing today and we've been having really intense pain well we just started having it this morning we haven't been able to eat solid food for like a week so we've been having smoothies and broth and it's not a really good way to live don't do that kind of diet if you don't have to i really want a hamburger and fries greasy dripping fries not dripping with grease maybe dripping with something else Cheese. I don't usually crave cheese, but I want cheese. I don't know what I was talking about. I might have a little bit of a headache. Oh, the hearing. So we go there, we're in real bad pain, and we don't know why. Just sudden pain in our liver liver and gallbladder area. So then we... Wait, my arms. Um waited around for the hearing we had to lay on the floor while we waited for it to start because it's just really bad pain today and really bad fatigue and the anxiety of this hearing has been making us just shake and shake and shake um so then we went into the hearing and we had to answer a bunch of questions a lot of them were about um our weed use and about our depression because that's one of the disability reasons that's being argued (sighs) Um. that was fun the problem is we don't even think we have depression that bad there are a lot of other problems that make us way more disabled so when the judge asked us about our depression symptoms we didn't know what to say So we talked about PTSD and I don't know what else, maybe seizures. And then um, after a while, the questions were over. And then we had to, um, there was a medical doctor on the phone, Um, Dr. Peterson. I knew by the sound of his voice that he would not be on our side. Also because he was paid by Social Security, but pretended he was impartial I was like no not impartial there's no way that's not a thing um so anyways he started giving testimony about how our charts were incomplete and it didn't really add up to anything and we hadn't really gotten treatment anywhere we had just skipped around because we're too picky about doctors and then he said something about how Lyme's disease wasn't really relevant but he called it Lyme's disease, so, you know? I don't mind when non-medical people call it Lyme's disease. That's fine. Do what you want. But when a medical doctor calls it that, then it's just a really good indicator of how much they might know about the disease. (sighs) Probably about zero. Um, So then at that point, we were real twitchy and out of it, and then... 
um, our partners in the, uh, the room with us, they got everyone's attention because we started to have a seizure. So that brought everything to a halt. Except our seizure, that did not halt right away. Why would it? There's so much stress. So then I think people got freaked out because it's a seizure. I get it. It's freaky. But we have them so often that it's not that freaky to us anymore. It's just our life. And Corey knows what to do, and so we get, we're get we okay. Um, okay, we're having seizures all the time, and nobody knows how to stop them, really. It's great. So um, then eventually the judge decided we that they should call the paramedics. So they came eventually, but by then my, the seizure had stopped, and we were just in our brain fog, semi-comatose state, unable to hold our own head up. Similar to now, but now we could, we can at least hold our arms up a little. So, um, then, then the paramedics were there and they tried to talk to us, but we couldn't talk. After a seizure, we can't talk. We can eventually use, um, a little bit of sign language. Thank goodness we took sign language in high, in high school. Had no idea that would be so necessary for our life now, but there are periods of almost every day where we have to use sign language to communicate because we can't use our voice. It's, yeah, we should learn more signs. That would help us a lot. Anyways, so then... The paramedics want to take us to the hospital, but the hospital doesn't help non-epileptic seizures. They just wait around for more seizures, or they send you to the psych hospital, or they put drugs inside of you that don't really help. Well, it did. Okay, one time we went, and I think they gave us Ativan. Totally helped. Stop the seizure. Felt amazing. That was great. But that's a one in a million shot. Well, one in five. We went to an ER five times for our seizures, I think. And one time they gave us treatment for seizures and it helped. But then all of the imaging, all the whatever work they did to diagnose our seizures said that we had the type of seizure that wouldn't be helped by drugs. So, you know, it's a fucked up system and really frustrating. But I'm glad Corey said, no, we're not going to go to the hospital. That's a waste of time, a waste of spoons. We just need to rest for a few, a little bit longer and then go home. Which is true. It's, it's going to be okay. Three neurologists have said that it, they're not deadly seizures. Did they? I don't know. One neurologist said, they're for sure not epilepsy and I can't help you, so go see some psychiatrist. But then we didn't because he was too far away. And I don't think the court liked that today, but... They didn't really give us a chance to defend ourselves. They did for one minute before everybody else spoke up about how shitty our case was, but that's not enough time for us to think. We just said, I can't think. Pass. Too tired. About to have a seizure. Blah. So now the case has been put on hold-ish. Or we're still, it's still open because the judge wants us to get um, evaluated by a neurologist of the court's choosing. So we know how that's going to go. Um, and then have another supplemental hearing after that to decide on the, to like button it all up, I guess. But that means it might be like the end of this year into next year before it's buttoned up. And then it might be into the middle of 2020 before we have an answer about if we get help or not. So then we came out of the courthouse and then we came home eventually. And then we took an edible because our pain is so bad. And that helped a lot. The, 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 that helped. Important things. Um, but... Uh, the awful thing now is that the off, one of the awful things is that the awful shit that was said in court just plays on repeat in our head. So we've been trying to find ways to get it out of our head so that it's not so terrible. So we wrote to some friends 
And now we're talking to you, and these are helpful things. So I have to go now because my arms hurt real bad from holding up the phone. I probably should have found a different way to do that. But thank you for listening, and look for more things soon, like our things. I don't know. What is the world? Ouch. Um, Believe yourself. Believe yourselves. Keep living. We will see you soon.